What's up guys? Hope everyone's doing well. I'm Sarkis and welcome back to another episode of Home Theatre Tours. In these types of series, I feature some of the best home theatres that I think need checking out and give you guys ideas and inspiration for your own home theatre room. If you see anything you like, I'll have everything listed for you guys in the description box, so check it out. If you like home theatre, PC and general tech content, hit that subscribe button to be notified on my upcoming videos. And if you want your room to be featured, make sure you hang around until the end of the video. And as always, feel free to comment your thoughts and let me know if you have any questions about this video. Now this build is the definition of how you can turn any room into a home theater without the big costs. And it's much more simpler than the other room tours that I've shown you guys. And I think it's very important to understand that you really don't need to spend a lot of money and go all out on audio gear or room decor and still have a great looking home theater room. It's clean, it's modern, it's comfortable and very affordable. So let's check it out. Now this dedicated home theater room belongs to Diamond, what an awesome name, from Victoria, Australia. Diamond's interest in home theater sparked when he visited a home theater store with his mate and since then, his passion became his new hobby and thanks to YouTube videos and online forums, he converted his rumpus room into a home theater and called it Diamonds Gold Class. Enjoy. guys know everyone starts from the beginning with some used equipment or new budget brand tech and as you guys can see diamond's first setup was just a regular sony 65 inch tv with a sony stereo system but we're not here for that he redesigned his rumpus room assembled and installed everything himself and the results speak for itself now let's start off with the aesthetics of the room this space is 4.3 meters by 5 meters and to the front of the room as you guys can see it has a sliding door which can be a deal breaker for some but diamond chose to cover it with roller blinds and added some beautiful red velvet curtains all around the room with led ceiling feature lights creating a magical luxurious space for him and his family to enjoy i know you're probably thinking but where is the screen well check it out Motorized 125 inch 16.9 screen from Elite Screens. This thing is awesome. Giving 160 degree wide viewing angle with one to one gain, which is thumbs up for the comfortable viewing for the eyes. It's lightweight and is a very silent operating screen and low power consumption. Sweet. Moving down to the front left and right channels of this room 7.2.4 setup. We have the reference series Klipsch RA20F floor standing speakers. Damn, they look good. I know most of you guys either use Polk or Klipsch speakers, but honestly, I can talk about these floor standing speakers for hours. They are one of my favorite speakers of all time to date. They have an amazing detail and clarity. Those dual eight inch spun copper IMG woofers look awesome. This thing's loaded with 150 watts continuous power and 600 watts at peak and weighs about 25 kilos each. Matching these fantastic towers is the Klipsch R52C center speaker, which Diamond plans to upgrade to the Klipsch RP600C. That's going to be a game changer for his room and I'm sure he's going to love it. But this R52C is an amazing center channel speaker. It has dual 5.25 inch spun copper IMG woofer and is scratch proof. Definitely recommend this for anyone that's looking for that crystal clear sound, creating laugh-like front row listening experience and looks amazing. Now, like I mentioned before, this home theater room is clean, classy and modern. And instead of in wall or floor standing speakers, Diamond has chosen the Klipsch R51M bookshelf speakers for his surround and re-surround channels, which are tucked in nicely on the wall instead of being on stands, creating that floating effect. For some of you guys that are curious, these speakers are being held with the Wally dual side clamping wall mounts. 
These are incredibly durable and handles up to 25 kilos of weight. So it's perfect for any average size bookshelf speaker. I recommend them big time. It also has up and down tilt motion and 45 degree left and right swivel, just awesome. Finishing his speaker setup, Diamond has installed four Polk Audio RC ATI Dolby Atmos speakers for that immersive 3D object overhead experience. These are very durable and constructed with moisture resistant materials, so you can use these in bathrooms, saunas, or even under eaves outside. Super cool tech. Now moving on to the things that annoy our neighbors and shake our homes, and even sometimes break things, and they are these SVS PB4000 subwoofers. Wow. These monsters weigh about 70 kilos each and create 1200 watts continuous power. I'm not going to brag too much about these guys, but these subwoofers will definitely shake and vibrate the sliding door behind that screen. And that's why Diamond has placed them in the back of the room behind the seating and still had to add some rubber spaces to eliminate and fix that vibration issue. But he says that doesn't solve the vibration for the rest of the house. Diamond, I'd hate to be your neighbor. Now put your hands up if you're an SVS subwoofer fan. Now this complete surround sound system is being powered by the 9.2 channel Yamaha RXA 3084K receiver. I'm a big fan of Yamaha and this is one of the receivers I'd also consider for my own setup instead of the Denon. Yes, it's a 9.2 channel receiver, but it has a 11.2 processor. It has all your bells and whistles like Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Dolby True, HD, etc. It also offers 13 RCA pre-outs and has seven HDMI ports, which is a thumbs up for me. Diamond's taken full advantage of the 11.2 processor and has added a fuzzy auto TDA 7498E two-channel amplifier to power his two Dolby Atmos speakers. For 4K streaming content and hard copy 4K discs, is using the Panasonic UB824K player and for easy smart control function in this room he's hooked up the Google Home to control turning on and off his LED lights down lights and check this out this looks like a normal light in the room but in fact it's a fan now that's awesome He's also in the process of adding the motorized screen for his smart control, which will be epic. Last but not least, yes, you know what it is, the BenQ TK800M 4K projector. Now this sweet machine offers ultimate detail and is built for bright environments. So if you're into watching sports in the theater room, this is the projector for you. I guarantee you'll be blown away, but be aware that these projectors are noisy so it can be disturbing while watching quiet movies. There's not much decor in this room as you guys can see and that's another reason why I love it so much. Sometimes all you need is a good screen, good sound and a very comfortable bed. <laughs> By that I mean this lounge. That is one epic lounge. Very inviting and I'm sure very comfortable and if you guys are interested in this item I will list it in the description box so you can check it out. So that's it guys, very nice and simple. This room is a fine example of creating a magical space for you and your family without the overkill. You can easily build a room like this with a similar setup and I guarantee you it will cost you pretty close to a high-end 4K TV. Maybe I should create a video for you guys on how to build a home theater room under, say about four grand, I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Would you guys be interested? Shoot your thoughts and comment in the section below. I think he's done an amazing job with the room and plenty of space for future add-ons and upgrades. Speaking of which, Diamond plans to add a Emotiva three channel external amplifier to power front left, center and right channel speakers. He's also saving up to upgrade his projector. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment in the section below and I'm sure he'd appreciate that. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think of Diamond's amazing home theater setup in the comment section below. I'm sure he would love to connect with people that appreciate his setup. And if you'd like your room to be featured on this channel, no, it does not have to be expensive high-end setup. Be sure to shoot me in the comment, email, 
tweet or send me a message on Instagram or Facebook and I'll be in touch. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy the video, click on the thumbs down button twice and don't forget to subscribe. Also, thank you all you guys supporting this channel and all funds from the online merch store, which is currently 15% off, will be pumped back into the channel to create better and more videos for you guys. Maybe some tech reviews and possibly giveaways. What do you guys think? Do you like these tour videos? If you have any other theater questions or requests, you can catch me on my Discord channel, which I will put the link in the description box for you guys. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.